Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Scott and today I'd like to talk to you about putting it all together or how to put together all these different elements of presentation skills. Now the first part I'd like to talk to you about is organization. Organization has to do with your presentation having a logical flow from beginning, middle to end, but it also has to do with having a nice flow or logical progression within each part, within the introduction, within the body, and within the conclusion. And one of the best things that we can do to ensure that we'll have organization is by using transition words. Transition words can be used to show when one part is beginning or ending, and they can also be used to um, show new ideas, to give examples, and they're really effective. So, in light of that, I'd like to move on to my next point, which is accuracy. Now, accuracy has to do with having good pronunciation, good grammar, good word choice. And for many of my students, uh, one thing I really like to emphasize is when you're practicing, do one practice just paying attention to final consonants. Because in terms of pronunciation, this is the most important thing to remember because it's the most common error among many students. Now, in terms of grammar and word choice, I really encourage students not to just go looking through their dictionary to try to find words and then put them on their PowerPoint or use them in their presentation. I think it's a really good idea to check to make sure that that word is a good word that you want to use. And the internet can be a resource and we can also um, find other ways by talking to people and um, doing some other research, but I encourage you, don't just go to the dictionary and then put it in your presentation. Make sure that the words you're using are appropriate. Now, moving on, presentation skills are a really important part to giving a presentation. And what I mean by presentation skills are timing, our voice in terms of volume and clarity, and posture, eye contact. And these all play a really important role in giving a presentation because if your presentation is has really good quality but the speaker is not speaking loud enough or clear enough, then you're really not communicating much at all. So it's a good idea as well to practice your presentation skills. Practice speaking loud. Visualize yourself looking at the audience and having good eye contact. All right, my next point is content and visuals. And by this I mean having content that is accurate and appropriate and visuals that communicate your ideas well. Um, it's important to have visuals, a variety of visuals, but that they are appropriate for your topic and that they in reinforce your, the points you're trying to make. And then question and answer is the last part of your presentation. And this is a great chance for you to show your good fluency skills but it can also be a very intimidating experience. So it's a good idea to be positive, be clear, and be honest. All right. Now, throughout these uh, website videos, I've given you a lot of different ideas and instruction. But one of the great things and one of the most valuable parts about giving presentations is that we're really learning skills for life. Um, there are so many life skills that we can really sharpen when we're practicing presentations, like overcoming our fears, having good organizational skills, good communication skills, and growing in self-confidence. So I hope that the things you learn not only help to give you skills for a quality presentation, but also help to give you skills for your life in and outside the classroom. 
I'm Mr. Scott, and I'll see you next time.